The year was 1983. I'm standing here from my first duty station in the United States Air Force. This is George Air Force Base, the former George Air Force Base. Now it's a logistics center in California. This is the story all began from my experience in the United States Air Force. George Air Force Base, California, city of Victorville. Its job is basically to soak up the air defense. It goes in first and goes out last. And the, the wild weasel missions on this war are four hours plus. Now, that's a long time for a fighter. Normally it's an hour, hour and a half that most guys are flying. So he goes in, he sees when the radar comes up, he goes down there with a, uh, an anti-radiation missile that homes on radar, and he gets those guys to fire it, uh, or at least to keep the radar on. So he can in turn destroy the, the radar guide at AAA, the radar guide at SAM, radar sites, and the air defense radar sites. Uh, whatever it is, it's going to be a threat to the strike force coming behind it. The wild weasels were remarkably successful in their mission, suffering no losses in the first wave of the attack. We were, we were shooting the SAMs who were trying to shoot at the guys who were doing what they were doing downtown. SAM missile sites in town? Around the perimeter of the Around town. the perimeter of Baghdad? That's correct. And tell me again about the resistance that you ran into? Lots of, lots of ground fire, lots of AAA, that Santa aircraft artillery. Uh, and like I say, I think there was one SAM fired that I saw, but uh, it was so far away and up through the smoke and haze, it was hard to make it out. So nothing came close to you? No, but that's the beauty of the system. We can stay far enough away that that's not going to be a problem for us from the SAMs anyway. The bullets are the ones that scare me. Now you're going back after breakfast. We gotta go eat breakfast, uh, look at the next mission and get ready for the next go. The Wild Weasel's mission was not over after the first attack. Yes. 
been happening, you know, before we've been trailing each other somewhere down the line of the same, you know, values the same, goals the same, dreams of the same, when we didn't have nothing to when we had nothing. That, that means nothing to me, like, <laughs> we were sleeping in the desert in a lowrider truck. <laughs> yeah, but, but we can cook though, so we didn't worry about that part of the heat, man. Oh, Go there, get you some man. beans and rice and maybe some little bacon, dude. You know, just ate for like three or four days at the pot big enough. We could burn, man. We could we burn. Yeah. We was like sitting down there like bachelors burning. <laughs> like, that <laughs> <Like, laughs> Cars yeah. showing up. <laughs> like, who's that? Running all over the world. <laughs> man, you remember that time, man? We went down to San Diego and we flashed our badges at the bed down there, kicking it all night and walked up the Navy boat and they gave us a full tour. Yeah, <laughs> hey, guys, gotta listen to this. <laughs> We went partying in Tijuana, <laughs> TJ for you guys, right? Que habla espanol? So, we come back at the party all night long, smelling like liquor and everything. We still had our party clothes on. KG said, hey man, you want to go to Navy base? I'm like, okay, I'm down. We pulled up to the Navy base gate, flashed our military badges, dude, and they let us on. <laughs> he said, hey, let's stop by this boat right here. We went to the boat, man. We got up there, gas We still not got a We're just dressed in our co-op of 40 clothes. <laughs> Double breasted, you know, gators, baggy with the cup pants, you know what I'm saying? Stacey Adams. We still up like that, right? Jerry Curl, damn it, turn one up from the airport. So we pull up, and, uh, the quartermaster, where it was like, was like, uh, may I help you? Said, yes, we'd like to tour your ship. And then we flashed our military IDs and he said, stand fast. Remember that? Remember that? Them Navy guys always say, stand fast. Yeah, I was going to say, I was trying to sit in the Navy. It was like a helicopter carrier ship. He gave us a full tour, man. Full I was going to we were going to ask all. Yeah, we were trying to get some meat out the motherfuckers. <laughs> you know, and they were saluting us all the way down. Yeah, they were saluting us like we were officers. It was a trip, man. And we, I know we smelled like alcohol because yeah. we were slamming Bacardi Cokes and shit and seeing one all fucking night. Yeah, we must have to be drinking, man. We ain't sleeping. We just stayed up. But when the men we got off work, we just got in the club and we going to TJ. Boom! Party all night. It's like going to Pajia for the first time. As soon as you land, you can't go to sleep right away. You gotta go to sleep tight. We were out here, man. We hitting all the bars. And then say, well, since we had a wonderful night, let's stop by and fuck with the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> Do something, 
Mm. It's better than, you know, dying alone with nobody, you know, or with nothing. You know, you, and the reason you died because you did not have nothing. <laughs> If you had something, you would still live, like medical insurance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You go, you get your checkup annually. You know, you got a car to take you to the hospital. If you, you know what I'm saying? If you got to hospital, you gotta wait till I give you a ride. You know, catching the bus or the train. You know what I'm saying? You live in a home, not somebody's back bedroom. You know what I'm saying? And they mad you there. You know what I'm saying? Go for it, man. Go get y'all things. But uh, we gonna go out on the boat, maybe. Guys, you're gonna go out here for a little ride out here in beautiful California. It's always cool when you commute with some of your homeboys. It's just the ones you serve with in the military. I enjoyed today and I hope you enjoyed the video.